Look at that. Holy jeez. So we're looking at the readings here. 51,000, 63,000, 67,000. That's average power output, 82,000. Over 100,000, 176, 100, 212, 221,000 power output. These are some of the highest public readings. We're in, um, I guess this would be kind of central Calgary, southwest. These people driving along here, this is 14th Street. They're just getting whacked right here. And I just want to show you, this is just a typical, this is all around the world. This is just a rooftop tower. Has about 50 antennas. Uh, this one is TELUS. And it's going up to 2.6 gigahertz. It's in the high 4G realm. It's everywhere now, Ronnie, you're right. This is a good example, though, of what people can look out for. You know, hopefully you can see those readings. Extremely high, 98,000. Let's get those readings. Extremely high reading. Look at that, it shot up to 121,000. Just a, a whack of pulse there. 120,000, 104,000, 200, 274,000. Unbelievable readings along this main intersection here. You can see the fluctuations in the, in the pulsations from this. get away it drops down we go direct line yeah wow hundred and seventy three thousand two hundred and eight completely maxed out right along the road here hundred and twenty four thousand hundred and fifty nine hundred and seventy two hundred and ninety 4,000, very powerful output. This is everywhere. Extremely high. It changes. Different um, signal, different signals coming through. But uh, you see that there, and um, the thing is, with uh, we want to bring people up the date on the 5G that it's slowly being deployed. They're having. Um, you're dealing with microwave, millimeter wave, a lot of infrastructure. It's going to take a lot of time. So a lot of it's uh, 5G piggybacking on 4G. Yeah, you're right, Kate. This is under federal jurisdiction. Um, these council meetings can't do anything about it. They can put public pressure, though. That, that can be effective in shutting these things down or at least getting it reduced. 
But most of these, like no one here knows what's going on. If you're driving by, it's coming right through the glass. So you're getting your daily dose of EMF radiation along here. But Rona Hospital schools, all medical buildings, kidney dial, yeah. Yeah, I'm reading these comments. But 5G is gradually being deployed. Um, it seems like they're, uh, they're employing the 5G antennas. So it's going to take a while before we really see the full manifestation of this. We're looking at 10 to 100 times more radiation than what we already have. But these are pretty egregious readings. I don't think anyone would deny that. Oh my God, some of the readings are outrageous. We had one over 500,000, 500,000 on this thing, which is quite unbelievable. Two hundred sixty-five. Very, very powerful readings here, and the, and this is only in the the four G realm. Yeah, we'll answer those questions on getting one, but do your own readings. Uh, we wanted to update this. We get a lot of questions on five G, uh, but we are watching closely. It is slowly being deployed. It's going to take a while before it fully manifests itself. You're going to see it in a place like Las Vegas. You're going to see it in Wuhan, um, parts of Germany, UK, um, other parts of the U.S. are going to. You're going to have to watch out. Place like Seattle, I'm sure they have major deployments of 5G. So we're going to have to watch it. There's the health component to it. There's also the surveillance component. And then you get all the, the AI infrastructure. So these are things we're watching. A safe level is below 0.5 peak signal. Cheryl, 0.5, and we were well over six. So that's over 12 times what is considered safe by independent science, uh, which is the bio initiative building biology. There is a connection, Paulette, apparently between graphene and the external EMF radiation. So uh, that's all we're gonna say on that for now, but there, um, we definitely don't think it's causing, you know, the virus or anything like that, but there, it is causing adverse health effects that are contributing to what people are experiencing, especially oxidative stress, headaches, blood disorder, that type of thing. You get the, the headaches, insomnia, all that stuff. So this isn't made up stuff. So we'll do more on it. When does Alberta go live 5G? It's hard to say, it could be in one or two years. Nicola, we're gonna have to monitor it and see what happens. Uh, you know, it's quite, quite intensive infrastructure they have to deploy because of the millimeter wave. It, can't, it has trouble going through objects. So it's a huge network to, um, to create this autonomous driving system that they want and all the AI. So we're gonna have to monitor it to see. Yes, they were being deployed during the lockdown, but it's a massive in infrastructure, Paulette. Remember that. They can't do this overnight, so it's a gradual thing of updating these towers with 5G, you know, adding the small cell antennas, et cetera, et cetera. They are experimenting on all of us. Yeah, unfortunately, people are being radiated, so you're getting the health effects from that. But it doesn't matter. It's just all about profit, control, who cares, right? It doesn't matter. They don't care about the Ukrainian people. That's just a proxy battleground. It's the same thing. Yeah, I saw Sylvian Lake. That's very concerning, Cheryl. There's all kinds of towers around there. I don't know why they're uh, singling out that lake there, but it's quite concerning. The 5G that we're seeing, it's claiming it's commercial, but I, I went to some 5G, ledger 5G sites. I didn't see anything, so. 
So be careful there with that. A lot of this is marketing right now. They're trying to compete uh, to sell their service, their devices. Detox is critical. Yes, indeed. So there's our site today that we were looking at. This is like, this could be anywhere in the world, but it's quite an egregious site. Let's just get some, I'll just do some final readings here. So you can see there. You can see the fluctuations. It's just stuck at six. Very high. Right there. Just stuck there. So it is what it is. So we'll we'll do more updates on this. We wanted to give you guys so you know we haven't forgot about this issue. But it's a very gradual deployment. Remember that, it's very gradual.